Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today we are going over Whistle Stop Factories. Uh, this is a brand new mod, only been out like a day or two, uh, but it's really cool. What this does is this, uh, this pretty much encourages you to use trains, because this spawns um, these massive factory and furnace buildings throughout the map. Uh, I've used a cheaty radar, um, one of the cheat mode radars to reveal out this huge area and keep it revealed. Um, obviously this is nowhere near the whole map, but just in this area we have two, four, six uh, things here and there's either furnaces or assemblers and it seems random as to which is which. Alright, so in this case we actually have five furnaces because this is one up here too and one assembler that I'm standing by right now. And what this does is this allows you to do mass production from these things um, without actually building a ton of entities. Uh, so this could really help like if you are running into UPS problems or mainly what the model is actually designed for is just to uh, pretty much force you to do a ton of train uh, building. Okay, so we have these guys and this has added special recipes specifically for these buildings. It's all the vanilla recipes, but what it's done is it's multiplied them by uh, like 100, essentially, or by 50, rather. Okay, because if you look here, the crafting speed is insane. The crafting speed of this thing is 40, uh, and the crafting speed of the furnace is 100. Okay, and you can beacon these as well, don't forget. Uh, so this has made it so like here, uh, you get a 100 transport belt, by inserting 50 iron and 50 gears. It's still the same conversion amount, uh, but why they did this is because this thing is so fast that if you just try to use the normal ones, um, it would actually be creating it at more than one item per tick, which the game doesn't allow, so it would like break it. Uh, so if we select a thing here, also this can take a huge amount of beacons. Uh, so this has inputs, it has built-in loaders. So you have your inputs here, uh, more inputs here, you have outputs here, here, and over here. Um, these kind of look like they're going backwards, but I don't think they are. Um, actually, they may be. Yeah, they are. They're going in. Um, but it has plenty of outputs here. Okay, and then the furnace is the same way. It has um, inputs on the left side and outputs on the right side here. Now, uh, the assemblers actually act as chemical plants too. They can. So if you go here and you choose something that's a fluid, uh, like, say, sulfuric acid, you'll still get your belt inputs, but it also adds in... Uh, two fluid inputs and then two fluid outputs obviously depending on what the recipe is so if we go to like lube or something you have two heavy outputs and two lube outputs um, and again I mean this thing will create a ridiculous amount 500 lube or 500 heavy oil in 500 lubricant out so on and so forth uh, so like circuits you know 50 electronic circuits um, and then you put in obviously the equivalent amount so this is really cool because this one can help you get around UPS issues because you can do mass production with far less entities. Uh, and it's not like, I mean, I don't really consider it cheaty because, you know, it's not like God modules or something. Um, and, you know, they're, they're randomly generated. But more importantly, this will allow you to do a lot more with trains if you want to. Of course, you can still build a normal factory, right? All these other, like all the normal recipes are still existing. You can still build everything as you would. Um, but if you want to do like a really train heavy map and kind of give your like force yourself to have a reason to do it This is a fantastic mod for that because um, You know you can spawn you know these will spawn all around the map and you can just train stuff in between them Now I'm not sure in the options if there's uh, Let's see creative mode helicopters So here we go This is something you can change because I was just noticing that these factories are pretty close. Some of them are almost in beltable range, but you can change this in your settings, in your mod map settings. Minimum distance for big machine to spawn from each other. Um, and this would be in tiles. So if you want them to spawn way farther apart, like if you actually want to definitely have to use trains, um, then you could, you know, increase this way higher, make it like a thousand or whatever you want for the minimum distance. Okay, so there is that option as well. And there you go, that's pretty much the mod. I think it's a really cool, interesting idea. Uh, it could definitely make for some uh, really fun playthroughs and like I said it's new uh, the dev is probably just going to keep developing it from here uh, there will be a link below as always in the description to check it out if you're interested and I believe I covered everything like I said you can model these you can beacon them uh, you know the furnace as well uh, I've set a recipe over here and you know I set it to do steel but uh, there you go and what actually one last thing I do want to 
cover here is I would personally say that these should probably take a little more energy. I mean, this takes two megawatts. This takes 1.5 megawatts, but for the uh, speed that they are, I feel like they should probably take a lot more than that, even without modules and beacons, um, like maybe like 10 or 20 megawatts a piece or something, because this is like ridiculous, you know, <laughs> this is like 30 assemblers worth. Um, so that's just kind of a thought if the dev happens to watch this. But uh, there you go, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you do have questions or comments, leave them below as always. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.